let's look at how I prevent, <clears throat> or at least I, I believe I'm going to end up preventing or at the very least, very largely mitigating burn-in issues with my new OLED gaming monitor. So let's take a look here. So this one right here is my OLED. This is one of the new LG 32-inch. Um, uh, it's the 32-inch 4K 240 uh, 1080p 480 hertz switchable one. Um, <clears throat> so... It's pretty simple what I do here. So I only use this for gaming. That's literally all I use it for. I do not, or I'll watch some videos, but I only use it for motion related stuff, which everything I've read isn't perfect, but it's gonna be a lot better than if you used it for static. So the thing you'll notice here is I have, so you see all these other monitors. So I know this is a little extreme compared to what most of you are gonna have, but, I am going to say this, I'm going to make a wild guess that you're probably, I mean, there's somebody that's going to be the exception, but I'm going to make a wild guess that you're probably not going from a 24 inch, like what I have up there, that's just a basic LCD, to a top of the line OLED gaming monitor. Again, I'm sure someone's going to tell me they're the exception to that, but I'm going to bet you're probably going from something like maybe like my old 38 inch ultra wide over here. So this is a nice screen. Actually, this one is actually, it's kind of overshadowed by that. That's still a nice screen though. So I'm gonna bet just about everyone out there is going from something like, uh, like um, what do they call them? Like a VA, like a, a couple generation old VA um, 27 inch 1440p you know, or maybe a, a, a maybe a three or four year old IPS 4K or or 1440p. You're going to be going from that screen to something like like my OLED here. So what you do is you just keep that old screen around, and anytime you need to do like this kind of stuff, you're just doing static computer stuff. You're doing web browsing. You're doing photo editing, especially if you have if you had a previous. So if you had a previous nice LCD, the thing I've generally found is that. A nice LCD is a nice LCD is a nice LCD, okay? S screens that I see that are nice from, like the old, the, the, the first really high performance LCD, the, uh, I, would, I would trace that back to like the Dell 3007 WFP HC, I think is what they called that. I had one of those back in the day. Those were like $1,500 or something. Uh, the 30 inch, they were the first generation 30 inch, 2560 by, uh, back then it was 1600. Those are still nice screens. I've, I actually used one a couple years ago thinking it was just a total piece of crap now. And I was actually surprised. It was actually a pretty nice screen still. But um, most screens that were nice, if you had a nice screen that was 10 years ago and it still works, it's still going to be a decent picture. Uh, I think that one up there is a maybe a 2016 generation 24 inch 1440. It's a 1440 60 hertz. But it's perfectly nice. I use it every day. Just use something like that when you're not doing your gaming, when you're not doing something that, that needs, uh, that needs motion. I know it's not perfect. You're, you're saying, well, we shouldn't have to do that. Well, you know, that's the nature of OLED technology today. It's getting better. It'll be better in the future, but today you're kind of still an early adopter. I know it's a little, a little more mainstream than, than early adopter territory. It's a little more mainstream than that at this point. But um, it's still a little more early adopter than, you know, a nice IPS. IPS is good proven technology. It doesn't really have burn-in issues. If you've got a nice old screen, use that. And then you have, then you have the benefit of two screens. You, just, you do side by side. I mean, most people that, that are dual screen or more will tell you they couldn't go back if they wanted to. So anyway, that's my kind of simple advice is just keep your OLED to your motion, your videos, your, uh, your gaming, your movies, TV shows, stuff like that, and then use your, your old screen for everything else. So simple, easy. If you don't, now, now if you wanna do that <clears throat> and you don't already have an old screen, you're that person that just doesn't have one, you went straight from nothing to OLED, um, go on Craigslist. Facebook, offer up. I see, I see like first generation Samsung 60 hertz 4K 28s all day long, usually for 50 bucks. 
I'll see even nicer stuff like Dell, like Dell Ultra Sharp IPSs from like 15, 16, 17. I'll see those for same thing, 50 to 100 bucks. It's not that much money. And, uh, and you use that side by side. Uh, if you're gonna do anything and, and you're gonna actually spend some money, I would recommend either a 1440p32 or a uh, uh, 4K32 over a 27, but whatever, anything will work. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope somebody gets some usage out of the advice and uh, see you guys in the next one.